So there are uh, there are various uh, software tools available for uh, unit testing and testing mocking frameworks, uh, not just for scripting but uh, also uh, for uh, executing the test cases. Uh, there are uh, integrated tools now that help you uh, script and execute in the same software. And then there are tools that help you create test harnesses, like when you have to do um, load tests or performance tests, you need to create uh, uh, virtual links, uh, virtual connections, uh, consecutive connections to your application or to your website. So um, there are software tools that help you uh, create these virtual loads, basically simulate those loads for you so that you can run them uh, when you need to do the testing. And uh, finally, the user interface playback tools. Uh, if you've ever looked at uh, automated testing software, it essentially uh, does is captures uh, users' movements when they're trying to use a software and records that. And then uh, when you run that uh, particular uh, automated test, it essentially plays back what you have recorded earlier. So it's called a user interface playback tool. So there are various uh, softwares that let you do this. And uh, fin uh, finally, Packaging tools, uh, tools that uh, help you uh, package your software. Uh, uh, there are uh, repositories, for example, uh, code repository software, CVS, and uh, there are a whole bunch of other. Git is a new uh, one which is very popular with the cloud and in DevOps world. Uh, we even have a GitHub that is, again, an integrated uh, software that lets you do a whole lot of things, basically everything that you can potentially think of uh, in a software. So when we we'll get to packaging and uh, deploying tools, then we'll, we'll go through that. And uh, certainly build tools, tools that help you help to convert your code into an executable. And uh, container management, um, you all must have uh, must be familiar with containers in uh, software now, especially with the Docker coming in. Uh, container management tool and again, uh, Docker management tool is kind of a container management tool. So just give an example. So we we'll look at more of those and uh, deployment descriptors. Um, like I earlier said, you know, deployment earlier used to be a manual task where one person would sit in front of the computer and just, uh, you know, watch uh, software deploy. Now, a lot of uh, that is automated. A lot of that can be automated. You know, a lot of that can be run through a script where, you know, you just define uh, what steps one, two, three, four that need to happen and, uh, you know, these uh, deployment scripts, the generation, there are generation tools to create these scripts, but these uh, deployment scripts automatically do deployments in one environment or multiple environments at the same time. Again, different change management systems, a uh, lot of your code management systems also let you uh, manage changes in your software code, in your uh, documents. Uh, they help you keep different versions of uh, your software code files or your document files or any other repository files that uh, uh, you're using in your software. And then release approval systems. Again, uh, these, these uh, software tools come like uh, a list of criteria to be fulfilled and all these uh, criteria is uh, automatically configured and as and when it is uh, uh, posted, the system automatically captures that uh, the release is ready for a deployment and it has all the necessary checks done for uh, approval to deploy that. Rollback mechanisms, this has been in, pla um, in, in place for a very long time. Um, 
and we'll we'll look at the different rollback mechanisms of this. Release automation tools. I just um, explained to you about that. There are a lot of softwares that have automated uh, release, um, build, and deployment. And I know this was one of the interest areas that Amit was keen to know how he can um, learn about that in this session. So we will do that. And uh, task scheduling tools. Again, we have, we have had schedulers and run jobs, what we what it was called in the past. So we have more of those now. So we'll look at those in the view of uh, DevOps and cloud uh, in in this uh, session. And uh, finally, the integration tools where you know your uh, physical computers connect to your cloud computers and uh, your virtual machines can be you know integrated with a physical computer or can be derived from a physical computer. These are all integration in, uh, enterprise integration tools that help all different um, hardware systems, computers to get integrated and come together, you know, to form a complete holistic uh, environment for a company. Configuration and uh, monitoring tools. So uh, people who come from an operations background would be very comfortable and familiar with these. They, they, there are like whole whole bunch of uh, different configuration and uh, monitoring tools that are used uh, in production or in a UAT environment uh, that uh, essentially our production support team had been uh, looking after all these years. So we'll look at more of uh, similar tools for infrastructure configuration and management uh, infrastructure as code tools. So we'll, we'll cover all these things in detail, kind of, uh, re uh, request tracing tools, uh, performance monitoring tools. Uh, we'll look at specific softwares and what they do and what they allow you to do and um, how they uh, how they help you analyze the performance of an application or a website. Uh, log file analysis, every every application, every website, every function uh, generate a uh, lot of log files and uh, there are softwares and tools that look into these log files and generate uh, the right uh, alerts for the people monitoring that if something needs to be looked into, something is not right, uh, there, there are softwares that let you do that. And of course, issue reporting, there are softwares that automatically take any issues or any alert generated and create a ticket or um, issue into, a, into the corresponding software system that the company is using. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.